Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungo Collects. This is the second episode of my brand new series, my solo series, and I'm trying to fill this coin album. So there's no Lady M, but don't worry, Lady M will still be in just as many videos as she's always been, so she's not going anywhere. This is just something uh, a little bit extra for you, a little bit of extra bungle there if you like. And I'm trying to fill this album, so it's got 50p's and £2 coins in it. So a shout out to Coin Patrol who give us these, uh, who give us these stickers. Shout out to Raftery who sent us the uh, the coin inserts. So this is the 50 pence. I'll blast through them. Do spoilers just in case you haven't seen the, the very first video that, uh, that I uploaded. If you haven't, go back and watch it because there's an absolute plum in there. It took till the second last bag, but yeah, was it, was, it, uh, was it worth it? Right, so we're now on to the two pound coins. So starting again, totally fresh. Can't wait to get into this to see what uh, commemorative coins we can find. The, the coins that are more than worth, more than face value, are of particular interest. But I just want to find the variety and get this uh, this book filled. So we want a nice, lovely 1997 technologies to, to, to kick us off. And then the rest are all the commemorative coins that you can find in your change. Right, let's get cracking and see what we uh, see what we can get. So I've got a bag, oops, I've got a bag of £2 coins. It's from the post office. Roll your other bags inside. I'll get this uh, get this open. A little bit novel for me is this because Lady M is normally the bag cutter opener. And of course I get to open every single bag as well. That's if I don't wreck the uh, if I don't wreck the camera setup. Like uh do I get double time for this? I don't know. I'm not used to opening so many bags. I've filled the, the 50p hunt back to back with, uh, with this one. I've never opened so many bags on, uh, on video all in one go. Certainly not on my own as well. So that's the technology. We're going to look for the one where the, the Queen is wearing an earring. So it's the McClough portrait, 1997. I'll show you that once, uh, once we come across it. I will be checking for rotation errors, particularly the... 2015 so that's the 2015 technology pretty standard but there are coins out there where you spin them over and the queen is facing the other way or not completely straight so i will be looking for them as we go along as well if it's not that interesting i might check them after the hunt let's uh, let's see so what did you think have you seen the first video did you see my first my first solo 50p hunt what did you think of it Hopefully you didn't miss Lady M too much. Hopefully I haven't had too much of a, a trolling for uh, Lady M not being here. I'm sure I got a little bit of ribbon. There's our first find, Charles Dickens. Over eight million of him in circulation, so he is not very rare and he is only worth two pound. So he's gonna be the first one that's gonna go into the into the book, which is which is nice. Ooh. Thought for a second there. We had a rotation, but not just the way it's spinning in my hand, I think. Just ever so slight. Try it that way. That little dot there at the bottom should line up exactly. I think it is slight, yeah, you know. Where's Lady M when you need? I'm gonna have another look. Let me just get this. Uh, let me just finish this bag off, and I'll have a I'll have a closer look. Mm, yeah, it won't be, will it? Let's have a look. So this little, so rot when you're looking for rotation errors, so this little dot here at the bottom should line up in the middle of the 2015. So the little dot should be, should be there. Yeah, I reckon that's ever so slightly off, but we won't be, we're not that bothered about it, are we? Are we? Are we? Does anybody care? Does anybody care? Is that slightly off? Hmm. It's going to cost me a fortune in this book anyway, because I'm starting for the first time. There's going to be plenty of fines, hopefully. Hmm, I might just keep hold of that one. I might just keep hold. I do like a little bit of a, a little bit of a rotation error. I mean, I really like the ones where the queen is completely upside down. They are really cool, them. 
I know Trev from Coins to Collect has one of them at Shakespeare's Histories. So that's our second commemorative coin. Super common that one. Highest mintage of all the of all the, the Shakespeare's. And we are plagued by them. The uh, apparently they are a little bit over face value, but not much. I certainly won't be uh, I certainly won't be keeping them. This one I do like. The DNA double helix. Got deoxyribonucleic acid written around the outside, the edge inscription. Nice condition that, so I'll be really pleased to add that into the book. And there's Shakespeare Tragedy, so we've already got two thirds of the Shakespeare set. And the Shakespeare set is complete. There is comedies. The hat trick of Shakespeare coins. <laughs> wow. At one point we were absolutely tripping over comedies. We were finding them when other, other people weren't, especially those of you that live down south of here in the northeast of England. And uh, there's another one. First, first Lord Kitchener. So yes, we are absolutely tripping over. Oh, there's an absolute stonker. Get in there, you beauty. Pleased with that. I'll just check this for a rotation error. <laughs> anyway, there is the Underground Roundel. Fantastic. 2013 came out with another one, the Underground Train. A picture on the train celebrating the, the London Underground. That is a beauty. I'd be keeping that even if I didn't need it for the book. I think I might have to zoom out a little bit. I've already got a, a flurry of finds. the abolition of the slave, tra slave trade or the act of it 1807 there is another version of this coin that has a nice smooth finish you get the the dg the artist initials down there that's the one that was only in the commemorative packs so do keep a look out for that they have been found from time to time i remember when gmz b hoy found one he actually found it on a live stream although he didn't he didn't uh, realize it was until he went back through I tend to have a look at the 2010s as well. You get a double die obverse error on, on the 2010s where it looks like it's been double stamped. So do have a little, little look for them as well. I do like errors. Just make them a little bit more interesting, I think. There's a golden guinea. That's a nice find. 2013 coin. A little bit over face value. Mintage around about 3 million, just under 3 million. So it's not one that I keep. I know a lot of people do. I don't keep the DNA double helix either. I've got one or two, but that's it. I don't keep uh, many more than that. Unless it's in super duper condition. And then if I did have a super duper condition, then I'd probably just put one back that wasn't is in a good as good a condition. That's nice and that's nice and shiny. So this will be Charles Dickens, I think, 2012. Nice. Uh, his novels there make up uh, make up his face, so that'll be definitely the one that gets kept. I'll put it underneath there because it's much shinier than that first one. I do like a shiny coin, plenty of lustre. This will be a commemorative. It's got the GSC portrait for Jodie Clark, so this will be a 2015 or 2016 coin, and it is. First World War Army Centenary. There's a, a number of uh, number of coins that were commemorating the First World War, and that's one of the circulated versions. The one for the army, the Army Pals, shoulder to shoulder. I call it Tron helmets because anyone who's seen the film Tron, it looks like looks like they're wearing that Tron kind of helmet. You know the film where they're they're on bikes, but it's actually. So you've got the you've got the three army officers there stood side by side wearing the wearing their cap. Not sure what this is exactly. This this other bit. I say, but to me it just looks like it's a this this guy's wearing a full a full Tron helmet. But yeah, lovely coin. Really highly minted that one. Getting on to 10 million. And they are beginning. We haven't seen many in circulation, even though it was released in 2016. 
Well, they are coming into circulation now. I think they've been in storage in the long store in the Royal Mint or in, uh, or in cash centres. And no two pound hunt is complete without a St. Paul's. Highest mintage, over 10 million in circulation. Always seem to find uh, to find one of them. Anyway, it's our first for this hunt. And probably won't be the last. I don't think I've seen a 1997 yet. Certainly not one that's uh, caught the eye that's nice and shiny. And worthy for the book. Actually, they've been out a long, a long time. Right, there is another one for the book. The Richard Trevithick. No, Richard Trevithick. Trevithick. Trevis Terrific, anyway, there he is. So that's two that's two train coins. Will we get the uh, will we get the hat trick of trains along with a hat trick of um Shakespeare's? So the other train being the actual London Underground train. That is a fake. So that's me two quid down. As if I was as if this episode wasn't gonna cost me enough starting a new book for the first time. But that is that is fake, you can't tell by looking. The uh, some of the telltale signs is one just the, the general look of it. The security feature there, the hologram, is just absolutely nothing. Uh, what else have we got here? Kind of this kind of poor, poor finish with, it, with, the, with the two parts look. I don't think that's been two pe pieces put together. Let's have a look on the uh, on the other side. I mean, it's not a bad Queen's portrait. It really isn't too bad. The IRB. You can see it says IRB, albeit a little bit, a little bit faded. It's not too bad. And we've got the standing right. So there, there's another giveaway. So the on, standing on the. Oops. So the standing's not too bad. It should be more centralised around the rim, standing on the. And then that's where it just turns to poop. The, the, sh the and the shoulders really fail fades there. Look, it's really hard to get the edge inscription. So I'm led to believe, and you can't see all of the giants. You can't see the eye. Look, but it's not. It's not a bad attempt. But absolutely 100%. That is fake. You can even tell by the feel of it. It doesn't even feel real. So yeah, I will. I'll keep that though. Obviously, I can't spend it. That will go into the into the back of the album with the with the oddities or the um, I don't know any territories that we might find. There is the Act of Union united into one kingdom. That was celebrating the the union of England and Scotland. Three hundred years, I think it was. Yep, seventeen oh seven to two thousand and seven. Rugby World Cup. This is the first commemorative coin from the two pound bimetallic version. So it came out in 1987. This is the first commemorative that came out a couple of years later. Nice. And another Shakespeare histories. Guy Fox coin. Remember, remember the 5th of November around the outside. First one for this hunt, and I'm sure it will not be the last one of this series. Around about 5 million the mintage on that. And it's only worth £2. What do we have from a bit over face value? You could argue the Golden Guinea and the DNA and the Shakespeare's go a little bit over, over face value. I even think that the the uh, army centenary is as well. A little bit over face value, and that's because people aren't necessarily finding them yet. They're not fully released into the wild. Oh, there's another rugby. So, so far, the plum is absolutely the, uh, that one. The London Underground. It's one of my favorite two pounds as well. There's a 
another Shakespeare's, another comedies. And another Army Pals, shoulder to shoulder. Army Centenary, whatever you want to call it. You know, it really is worth checking every single two pound you get for little, for, for rotation errors, like literally every single one, whether it's a commemorative, whether it's a technologies, whatever. And have a little look, see if you can find any little imperfections on them or these, any little errors. And there's Brunel, the portrait, with his name and date of birth and date of death. First one, when we get the arches, not many bags left to go to get the, the arches. It's sister coin released in the same year. Be unusual as not to get it because it, it is. They are both common. This is a commemorative. That's another golden guinea. There's another Brunel portrait. Ah, there's a 1997. See, there's a slightly different portrait there. That is the McClough portrait. That is the IRB portrait. And then you've got the JC portrait. So the three different portraits that you can get on the two pound coins. And another act of the abolition of the slave trade. Not a bad first hunt, no absolute stonkers, but it's not far away. That uh, round hill is not far away from a stonker. In fact, it is a stonker. We've got it, we've got it, we've got a stonker. No two ways about it. See if we get anything in this last bag. So do let me know in the comments whether you've enjoyed this hunt. Hopefully you're not missing Lady M too much. And please don't give me a hard time in the comments. You'll still get to see Lady M as much as you always have done. Ah, there's a comedies. I would imagine this will finish off that hunt. So do, yeah, do stick a like on the video. It's very kind, it lets me know you care. Please do consider subscribing if, you, if you're new. Or if you're not new and you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. And all our stuff is in the description below. How you want to contact us, either through Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, email. Right to the PO box, all that kind of jazz. Right, I'm gonna pick the best of these conditions of the ones where we got doubles. I'm gonna get all these into, into the album, so stick with me and you'll uh, you'll get to see how that looks uh, in a minute. Right, okay, so everything is in the book. Let's see what we got. We've got the 1997 uh, Technologies. We've got the 1999 Rugby World Cup. We've got the DNA Double Helix, the Richard Trevithick, with the St. Paul's, the Gunpowder Plot, Brunel Portrait, Act of the Abolition of the Slave Trade, the Act of Union, Charles Dickens, the London Underground Roundel, which is absolutely the plum find of the hunt, the Golden Guinea, the Lord Kitchener, the Shakespeare hat trick, all three, and the Navy cent uh, Army centenary, and a horrible fake, and I ditched that uh, alleged rotation error as well. If it was an error, it was not worth it was not worth, worth messing about with. So how much does it cost me? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six pounds. What an expensive, what an expensive hunt. I suppose, of course, I can always just take them out uh, and, and spend them. So, like I say, let me know what you think in the comments. Please do leave me a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.